Hey there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today we get to play with one of my favorite things, fire. So we're going to have fun with fire and we're going to play with one of our coolest lab demos that we use this a lot in the lab, but we've never done a video on it. And somebody wrote in saying, hey, I remember seeing this demo a couple years ago, but I haven't seen a video, so could you, could you help us out? So we're gonna make you a video on the Rubens tube. Now what the Rubens tube is, is actually Really, it, it's kind of like a Tesla coil. It's one of those things that's really, really simple in concept, but really, really hard to get it to work right. So it, it's very fussy, and we seem to have a thing for making fussy things around here. But what it is, is a piece of pipe, and it's two inch diameter metal pipe, and we've got a stand for it, and we put it on a tripod so we can move it around, and this moves up so that we can just put it in a truck and whatnot. Now on here, you'll see we have a propane tank, and this is like the kind for a little camp stove um, a valve, a regulator, and just some pipe to get in here. It's really kludged. This was uh, made by a member years ago, and I've never gotten around to really updating it or anything like that. On one end, we have a plug out here, and this is just a piece of plastic that's machined to very loosely fit, and we put a ring of electrical tape around it to keep it sealed. Uh, the plug is put there for a safety purpose in the case of any thing explodes or anything like that, the plug will just pop out the end and it keeps the tube itself from rupturing. On the other end, it's a little more complicated and I'll, I'll turn this around so that you might be able to see it. Uh, this is the, it's a speaker and we machined a, blo a block of UHMW to just slip over the end and there's a pass through tube all the way down and then there's just a cheap junk speaker we had laying around. We actually had a different speaker on it when we started today. And there's the old speaker. You can see the cock ring. And we burned that up in about half a second. And we didn't burn it up with the fire. We burned it up with the amplifier because we couldn't find, we keep a, a little tiny amp that we use for this, like a little five watt Altoids tin kind of amp. And that's fine with it. We couldn't find that because everything's getting packed up for the move. So we just grabbed one of the big amps for the sound stage, And it's got a little bit more oomph than we're used to. Now over here I've got a basic uh, Hewlett Packard tone generator. Um, if anybody's really curious, it's a model 203A and I'm going to put a tone in it. You can hear the tone. Here, I'll get my mic in there. There, there's your tone. Um, now we only have, with this one it's designed for a very short term demo because it sucks so much propane out of the tank that the tank gets cold and when the tank gets cold, it loses pressure, and we can't keep everything going. Now, this is the first tube we made. We have a second one that's a tabletop version, and you'll see that one in a later video. This one is a little screwed up. There's some holes over here that are like one size bigger than the rest, so you'll see a lot of fire coming out over here. Uh, but just ignore that. It's just because the holes are the wrong side. So what I'm going to do is light this. And as it fills, it'll go all the way down. Sometimes you have to bug it a little. They're very fussy. There's about a million things that can go wrong with this. I don't particularly like it, but it does this. And what, it, what the purpose of a Rubens tube is you can see how they ripple in waves. Uh, it's because there's waves, acoustical energy going down there from the propane going in. It causes the tube to ring a little bit. And when you put an audio signal into it, all of a sudden you can see the standing waves inside. And this is how like uh, a pipe organ, any reed instrument from a clarinet to a saxophone, oboe, trumpets, uh, trombones, most horns work like this. You, you're creating a standing wave in a tube and the pressure changes. And you can see there's points of high pressure and then there's nodes where you have the zero crossing and you have a nice sine wave down the tube. Now watch what happens when I change the frequency. You gotta bring our amplitude down a little bit or we'll blow our fire out. Now is that cool or what? I mean, that's, that's, that's science, man. And it's really simple to build. I mean, all it is, in essence, is a big propane burner. 
And if you turn the sound way up, it goes past the resonance of the tube. If you go too low, you'll just vibrate the fire, which should look really weird on camera. Yeah, I can see it phasing in and out with the camera. And if I get it just right, I can make the fire almost disappear. Like that. So we'll take it back up. By the way, uh, our frequency up about there is at 250 hertz. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this off for a second. And I'm going to show you another cool thing you can do with a Rubens tube. We'll play some music through it. So we'll be back in a second. I got to change some setup stuff around. And we'll grab an iPod or something and hook this up for some music. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, we're back. And Mike has found, um, well, actually, we have Justin Kelly's iPod. And, <laughs> and uh, Mike has found an appropriate song, which I'm, I, I got to give him props on that. Mike picked the music for this. I've always used the Dave Brubeck Quartet. The uh, Time Out album has always been a favorite of mine. So yeah, we're losing pressure really bad, but we'll see if we got enough to make this work. We're losing the fire bad. I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd be grateful every riddle for any individual trouble or in pain. You'd be thinking another link in if you only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you why. The ocean's near the shore. I think of things I never thought before. Mike, we're, uh, we're going to have to talk about your music choices. Okay. We're <laughs> so, there you go. That's the uh, Geek Group's Ruben Tube playing If I Only Had a Brain. Now, what version is this? It's the Flaming Lips? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, you guys have fun. We'll have more for you next time here at the Geek Group. And uh, we'll get a bigger tank for the other one. We'll show you the one with the, the full fire. But our, our tank's losing pressure pretty bad. You can hear it in the fire. It's really cool. I got I to gotta find a way to mic that one of these days. Watch me set my hair on fire. That'll be a great blooper. All right. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you next time. See ya. I could think of things I'd never thunk before And then I'd sing and think some more I would not be just a nothing My head all full of stuffing My heart all full of pain